how do you stay so positive when you also are not blind to the negative things that are happening? Uh, if you look back in time, the only way that we did achieve change is, you know, by staying positive. Like one of the people that inspired me in the past is Harvey Milk, who is, a, you know, a gay icon, one of the first openly gay elected officials in the United States, the first um, to be elected at San Francisco City Council. And he joined the City Council in 1977 and he received death threats daily um, for being out, for being gay at a time when homosexuality just was not understood and seen as a threat to institutions. And in the face of all of that, um, animosity, he was determined to inspire people with hope. Like he has many famous quotes and one of them is, should a bullet enter my brain, let that bullet destroy every closet door. And in fact, in 1978, a year after being elected into office, a bullet did indeed enter his brain and he died. He was assassinated, but his message of hope can live on through us all. And I see that today in the, in the people that I meet. Like I stay hopeful because I'm in contact with other people who are doing incredible things. And, you know, we all have our off days and, you know, myself included, um, but we have a choice where we can live with hope and positivity or we can live with negativity and depression. And either one of those choices, the external situation doesn't change necessarily. I find if I live with hope and positivity, then things move forward better, like you feel better. And when you feel better, you kind of manifest more positivity in your life. So I just kind of like trying to loop back and remind myself with that.